Today, let's end the first week of 2022 good with some exciting new upcoming VR games for Quest, PC VR and PlayStation VR. We'll get started in just a bit. I'm Cass and this is your channel for free content about VR. All I ask in return is to leave me a like on this video and now join me beyond reality. Time for the first game. Ultimax welcomes players into a futuristic mech fighting game where speed, precision and rocketry are needed to defeat your opponents. This is a game by master multiplayer studio Resolution Games that you may know from many's favorite, Demio. So I expect this to be good as well. Samurai Slaughterhouse is a physics-based combat open-world game and sandbox. You can use stealth, creativity or brute force to take on both humans and demons. I look forward to it because its black and white comic art style looks stylish. Tivo God is a VR adventure that uses impossible spaces with procedural generation to allow players infinite movement within their own place. Very unique and there's already a demo available that's received well if you want to try it out. The full game is releasing this year. Nerf Ultimate Championship is the upcoming multiplayer arena based shooter featuring the Nerf toy guns. It looks pretty awesome and the beta should start soon. I'm ready. GTA San Andreas is coming to Quest which was announced last year and it's epic giving the excellent Resident Evil 4 port off last year. I'm uh, having high hopes for this one too but no release date yet for this but I guess this is everyone's most anticipated Quest game this year. Leave me a like if you agree. Hitman 3, previously only released on PlayStation VR, is now also releasing on PC VR with full motion controller support and it's coming soon in January. I look forward to it as I always thought it needed motion controller support. Talking about PSVR, yesterday we got the official specs, see my previous video, and also the news that we're getting an official Horizon Zero Dawn VR game. It will be a spin-off called Horizon Call of the Mountains, exclusive to PSVR, but hopefully it will come to PC VR later on as per usual. Not any more info yet except for this teaser trailer and that the game is to showcase the new PSVR 2 capabilities, so it has to be good, right? In The Last Taxi, you are the last human taxi driver on Earth, left with an unexpected passenger who unveils a dark conspiracy that you just want to unravel. This is a story-based game with multiple choice-driven endings. It looks like a unique one. Google's VR studio, Alchemy Labs, the desk behind Job Simulator, comes with Cosmonious High. Again, a bright and cheerful game, but this time in an alien high school where you unlock powers to fix up the place. You can go anywhere, interact with any character and use their powers to resolve or cause as much chaos as you want. Sounds fun. And Zenith is coming out soon. I've covered it a couple of times already, but I'm mentioning it again since this is my personal most anticipated game because I love MMORPGs and there's just so much to do in this game that I recommend checking out our gameplay video in the alpha test to uh, know more about the game. The second closed beta is coming soon too, so I guess the release is not far away either. Wanderer is one to look out for, even just for its graphics. It's an escape room game with action arcade sequences and what looks like a mind-bending time travel story. It looks like a unique one also. Hellsweeper VR is a roguelike combat game where you are an undead immortal. Equipped with elemental magic and weapons, you take on challenges of the underworld. This game is by Mixed Realms, who you may know from Sirento. Shell games are porting Among Us to VR. This is the official port of the multiplayer teamwork and portrayal game with up to 10 players that was wildly popular about a year ago, at least on YouTube. While it is a bit late since the hype has worn out a bit, it's still a really fun game to have in VR. And it looks like we're finally getting a real Dungeons and Dragons VR game with Quest Haven. This upcoming tabletop simulator lets you build environments and import game rules to play essentially any RPG tabletop game like D&D, Pathfinder or Shadowrun. VR is just so fitting for this so 
I like it. Now our favorite little mouse, Quill, is returning and will continue the adventure in Moss. My top favorite quest platforming game as the devs created a magical game where even though you control a character in third person, you feel emotionally connected. It's just fantastic, so I cannot wait for this sequel. Right now we still don't know if it will come on more platforms than PSVR, however Moss 1 did, so I still got hope. Fast travel games bring Cities VR, the VR adaptation of the leading city building simulation City Skylines. You don't only build in this game, but you also design, construct and direct the traffic flow while handling economics, emergency services and more. I'm truly excited about this one as I used to love simulated games like SimCity. Shell Games again, and they are also working on a new VR cooking game called Lost Recipes. In this game, it looks like we'll learn to cook recipes from cultures all around the world, even from past times, with a playful narration. This developer always comes with innovative games, so I look forward to trying it out. The Last Clockwinder is a Studio Ghibli inspired automation game. A game where you build contraptions out of your own clones in a cozy sci-fi world. Again, a unique one and as a fan of Studio Ghibli's animation shows, I am excited to dive into this fantasy world. Ultra Wings, a popular flight game, is getting a sequel. This will be an open world aerial adventure where you earn in-game money by completing various missions. I'm not usually into flight simulators as this it is way too tricky for me, but this one is actually made to be easy to understand. Great news for people like me. Garden of the Sea is like Animal Crossing VR. You wake up on a small island in a magical world where you can grow your garden, nurture local creatures, furnish your home or adventure across the seas to gather new resources. The game was out in early access on Steam for a few years and this year releasing in full for Quest and PC VR. I've tried it before, it's cute so I'm eager to see the end result. And yes, we have two city creation games coming this year. This one is by N Dreams, and here you can design the layout, plot amenities and make a perfect little city where your citizens love to live. Or at least that is what you should hope. This one looks more playful and cozy. Now I'm excited about Green Hell VR because I also love the flat game. The VR version will be a standalone one, but it won't be so different. You're still lost in the rainforest and must do what you can to survive. And that will involve the usual survival stables. But what sets Green Hell apart from other survival games is that it can get really challenging since you also have to deal with mental health and sickness. The original Propagation was a short survival horror experience that became wildly popular. Paradise Hotel is the full version of this game which is releasing this year and as the name suggests, you'll be exploring an eerie hotel, not so much a paradise, because it will be filled with zombies. Requisition VR is a 4 player online co-op survival game in a apocalyptic world with, you can guess it, zombies. But in this one you explore abandoned areas where you can use any objects you can find to craft weapons. I like it, the interactions look good. This Gronia is set in a so-called paradise of an artificial marine city, and you are a special supervisor trying to unravel a big mystery. So this may not be for everyone, as it's more about watching than interaction, but if you enjoy manga or anime, you may enjoy this as well. Susie Ben VR is another visual novel, but with a unique take on framing the VR narrative with these panels that you see right here. The dev called this a VR slice of life anime game that revolves around a sushi bar. Again, I am guilty of loving manga, so you know this is one I'm looking forward to. I also found two exciting VR games coming, but since we don't have a lot of info yet, I'll mention them quickly. First, we got Thrill to Fight 2, the sequel to the popular fighting game which is coming this year. And a Peaky Blindness VR game is coming called The King's Ransom. The latter is by developers who also made the uh, Doctor Who VR game, so I'm excited. And yes, more games are coming and big ones like Assassin's Creed VR, Splinter Cell VR, System Shock 2, Panzer Dragoon Remake, and of course the next Boneworks like game on Quest. I've mentioned these before, so this is just another quick one. Unfortunately, there is still no updates on these games still. 
but there are actually more games that I've mentioned before that are coming sooner like Sword Reverie, Vertical Games 2, Aerial Man Lives, Lo-Fi, but I don't want to keep repeating myself too much so I recommend watching my previous video on it if you want more details about that, I'll link that below and that is it for today i hope you enjoyed our first video in 2022 i really look forward to another epic year i mean we got the psvr2 coming and project cambria alongside these exciting games and well it just makes me excited let me know what you are excited for let me know what games you are looking forward to the most did i miss something perhaps put it in the comments below thanks for watching and a special thanks go to our champions especially these right-handed patron right over here and as always vr on